So now we'll turn to modern day and drill down to some of the great uses for these wonderful tools. Braces are measured by their sweep or the circumference that their outer handle traces through the air. This can typically be found in even numbers from 6 to 14 inches with 10 inches such as this fray here being the most common. So you look at this here and you say this is 5 inches to here so a complete circle from here to here would be 10 inches across. That's how they measure them. It's called the sweep. The larger the brace, the more torque you can put on the bit or the screw you're turning. So a 10 inch brace will put more, more torque down than say an 8 inch brace here. Um, however, the larger braces also turn slower. So a smaller brace, like a 6 inch brace, would drive a screw faster than a 12 inch brace, though you would have less torque. Now bit braces, of course, bore holes. Most will take auger bits uh, like these square shank ones here um, that will bore straight clean holes with these auger bits can be found at many of the same places you find the braces often they were sold in sets and if you get lucky you might find a full set you might also run across okay. we'll see here we'll give this one a try and see look at that it just bores right down in there it pulls itself through with that lead screw on there a real sharp lead screw Right there, that little sharp screw pulls itself through, and these spurs will cut the hole cleanly. You can see there, nice clean hole. You might also find some center bits. Um, these are good for more shallow holes. Um, it's a really tiny one, a really big one. And boy, do they make, make the most beautiful shavings. I'll take this one here. It traces the hole, and it bores out the middle. Nice clean hole and look at these just beautiful, beautiful shavings. Um, another type of bit that you might find is the expansive bit. These can bore a wide variety of hole sizes. Um, they do not excel in deep holes. You see here this wheel would turn you loosen this screw and you can turn this wheel and slide this wing in and out here. And this particular one came with a smaller wing too and it would just do the same thing, it traces around and scratches around the hole and pulls itself through with the lead screw here. So this is the expansive bit. Um, the trick with these, um, with these bits is that when you're boring a hole all the way through something, through a board, uh, you want to stop cranking when the lead screw pops through the back, like this one right here. Then what you can do is put it in here, put your, bro, your bit Sorry. Put your bit back in the hole right there. And this is on the back of the bore. And bore from the back. And it will pop through. And it will make you a nice clean hole. Both sides. Okay. Another great use for bit braces is driving large screws. How about that right there? Um, you can pick up hex adapters from places like Leaf Valley. This here has a square shank on the back so it fits in the bit brace. Let's just fray. Just pop it right in there. Tighten it down. And put a bit, a hex shank bit in there. Just like that. Now this is very cheap. This was five, six dollars maybe from Lee Valley. So you can use any hex bit here with your brace. This will allow, allow you to drive these large screws really fast and easy. I mean, see that just goes right on in there. Okay. Now, similar use is to remove stuck screws. You can put a lot of pressure into the screw by pulling, pushing hard on the pad of the bit right here. And then with the mechanical advantage of the brace, you get a huge amount of torque on that screw. One word of caution I would say, though, is make sure you use a good quality hex bit. This is like a stainless steel bit here, also from Lee, from Lee Valley. And this is a hardened bit. Because um, if you don't, you can break or bend uh, some of the cheap hex bits. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this one has got a nice twist in it from where I tried to take out a stuck screw with it. I had to go back and get a harder bit, and then it came right out. Um, what about bolts? Well, of course, you can do that too with a bit brace. You can buy an adapter just like this from Lee Valley, except for that it has a head on it much like this, where it'll take a socket, any standard socket. Uh, and that allows you to put the socket on your brace. You can drive lag screws, tighten loose nuts, free stuck. Uh, nuts off of something. 
and bolts. Even you, you could even lower your spare tire in your back of your pickup truck with it. Um, all done with the ease and power of a bit brace. Now, another good use of a bit brace is you can chuck up a wooden spoon in the bit brace here. And you can help your wife make stuff in the kitchen. You get a bowl out here. And just, well, let's put it down here. And you just stir it up here. You can go around and stir the, the stuff. This is great for brownie points. Brownie points? To make your wife happy. Just kidding. Well, I don't know. It does kind of work. Another advantage is that without a cord, batteries uh, or batteries to run out, you can take your brace anywhere on the farm. You know, this cheap Stanley I use to take outside for when I'm doing rough work, construction work. You go, you can bore holes for um, you know, large holes for fence gate hangers. Um, you can use changing tires because you can ch chuck up a, a socket on there. Um, you know, for running screws in, all kinds of stuff. You don't have to have a plug. You don't have to have a cord. If you drop it, get you a cheap one like this, you drop it, who cares? You know, and this thing will last the rest of your life and then some. And one last advantage to these is that, unlike noisy drills, you get tons of power all while being quiet. You can actually listen to the radio while you work or have a conversation without having to yell. You know, you're boring your home and somebody comes by. Did you know you're boring? Yep, I know. Well, there are many more uses for a bit brace out there. If you've got a good one, let me know about it. They are a very satisfying tool to use and will last a long time. I regularly use a 140-year-old brace in my shop. Try getting that kind of wear out of even the most expensive power drill. Now, I'm not advocating you throw away your power drills. I've not, but I am suggesting that if you pick up a bit brace, some auger bits, and a few adapters, you'll not regret it. By the way, I'll try to put together a short video soon about how to sharpen the auger bit, those center bits, and even the expansive bits. But don't worry, it's pretty easy. So, if I've inspired you with all this boring video, then get yourself a bit brace and get boring.